somewhere. Push off first. So you're gonna hook into this first, and then so this is safe. a little bit and, uh, and teaching them about the warrior ethos, uh, getting the immersion, learning what it uh, takes to be special tactics, what it takes to, to th survive and thrive in the type of environment that we go through. So there's nothing better than uh, learning what that is than getting your butt kicked early in the morning with 
discussion on exactly what he goes through, but I want you to key in on some of the impossible details of what he endured. So 11,000 feet, top of a mountain, waist, uh, bullet hole, shrapnel wounds, one finally through the heart. But every step of the way, not quitting. Every step of the way, refusing to, to allow his, any comfort, or allow anything other than focusing on taking care of uh, the ultimate, the sacrifice of who he was thinking about, who he was caring for, giving everything he had to take care of his team. Yeah. Operator at Lowry Air Force Base, Colorado. Chapman began training as a combat controller in 1989, earning his Scarlet Beret in 1990. He served at the 1721st Combat Control Squadron at Pope Air Force Base, North Carolina. Army MH-47 Echo, Navy SEAL Neil Roberts fell from the back of the aircraft while RPG, while taking RPG and small arms fire. The aircraft made an emergency landing approximately three miles away, where Chapman began coordinating close air support in its two, and was upgraded to the Medal of Honor on August 22, 2018. At this time, I opened the floor to anyone. Job well, and he knew what was required of him. Um, so. For him to get back in that helicopter and to return back to the top of that hill took a lot of courage. And he was recognized for that, but there's no doubt in my mind there's another John Chapman in this audience. There's no doubt in my mind. There could be any one of them. It could have been, they don't have to be an operator either, but any one of us could be asked any time to replace. But the guy was a guy was a great character, he's a great person. I miss him every day. And 22 years ago, man, I'll always forever change my life. Man, just like any one of you. But today is just to honor John, but any one of our teammates that couldn't be here, and we run for those guys, we do things for those guys to honor them every day. So, today I appreciate you guys getting together and honoring John. I know he did. When you get back, you got 23 burpees. Your burpees for Firefight 1 will be done on this concrete area. Or right Good. So he's doing bottoms up. You can also do it with it here. You're just rocking and pressing there. Okay? So as everybody does 23, you do your burpees at the other zone. Okay, so if you started doing your burpees on the concrete, your next set of burpees will be on the turf. Okay? Or vice versa. Everybody good? So yeah, we got firefight two, that's four rounds. <laughs> <laughs>